pleasant evening to all. Tonight, we're gonna go through this door. This is my door to Neverwhere, or my door to Narnia. I mean, this is where all the magic happens for me. This is where I make music through that door. So, okay, so before we go inside, let me tell you a little something about this door. Do you know that I was the one who put this door handle there? Ako naglagari ng door handle na yan dyan, sa door na yan. Ah, lagari. Nag martilio ng door na. Ako yung nag martilio ng door handle na yan dito sa door. So, let me show you what I did. So, here's the door handle. And, ako naglagay na to dito. Pati niyan. Ibig sabihin, matibay siya kasi ilang years na tong studio ko at nandito pa rin yung door handle. Wala lang. Okay, now let's go inside my studio. So, here we are inside my studio, um, which I call Fuzz Lab. So it's like a laboratory and uh, well, it's not really that big of a space. So let's just go through some of my favorite things here in the studio. Okay, so I have to apologize because my studio is really messy now. I just recorded something yesterday and um, I'm not gonna pretend like my studio is always clean and organized because most of the time, medyo <laughs> may mga kalat. Like look, I even put two of my guitar pedals there. Naka, naka ano, velcro. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna notice when we enter is, um, of course, the instruments, but let's start with that whiteboard over there. So this is where I put, like, my schedule. There's nothing really special here. It all just says practice. Uh, pero most of the time, hindi ko naman nasusunod talaga yan. But it's just nice to know that I had prepped my week somehow to be productive. But wala namang, ano, guilt. Pag hindi ko siya uh, what's today? Read new chapter, write new chapter, movie. So I guess today was supposed to be my rest day. Um, but instead of writing and reading today, I just decided to create this vlog. Let's go through the instruments that are here in the studio. So this is my very old school keyboard. Um, I think more than 15 years na to sa akin. But sometimes it's still my favorite because it has like weighted keys that I really like so it makes me feel like I'm really playing on a real piano and then here we have my drum set which has been here since the very beginning it's a Pearl Forum um, and I also have a stage custom here so depending on the preference of the drummer who's gonna record he or she can opt for that or this one tapos yung cymbals nito is K custom dark because I really like the sound of that and, um, sorry, I just put some of my caps here while no one's really using the drums and this Jurassic Park pillow. And then Wharfdale speakers that I had to put close together for now because there's no current in the socket. Na yun. And then um, the bass amp. And then we have a couple of mics here, um, but these are old school mics. I think I need to upgrade um, yung mga USB ones that I can actually use with my phone. Oh no, this one? It's not USB but you can um, plug it in this black box that you can use for recording. So that's pretty cool. And so in the very heart of my studio, in the very middle, is where all the mess is. <laughs> this is where I usually sit. Uh, or Jan or Don, so my computer. So this is the latest addition to my studio. It's a Nord Electro 6, and I really love it so far. And then, dito naman mga percussion instruments that I play around with whenever I'm practicing, just to spice up my practice sessions. And then, of course, here's my music notebook and a no the notebook where I write a lot of lyrics and I write my notes. Tapos down here, I put. Uh, some pieces or like magazines that I could read related to music so I could just grab it and if I want to like play something specific then I could like this one it says make how to make money from your music um, pero sa totoo lang parang hindi pa naman siya nangyari sa akin kahit once so 
Uh, but it's still fun to dream that it's gonna happen one day. Tapos, ayun, um, mga music books yan na madali lang I could just reach for when I feel like I'm practicing. I'm really sorry about all the cables that you're seeing, um, all the cords that are just lying around. But, you know, there's no perfect way to, like, handle that pagka sobrang gulo na na nangyayari. And then, there on the floor is a looper. When I really miss playing with a band, I use that. Para naman, parang meron akong kajam. Pero sa totoo lang, it's just me also. And then, this right here is my favorite metronome. It's the Dr. Beat or the DB90. Um, this really helped me a lot when I was preparing for my recitals because uh, I rarely got bored, um, even if I was practicing for like more than five hours a day. Kasi parang pwede mo change yung style ng beat. Pwedeng salsa rhythm or hip hop, but still keeping time. So that's really fun. Na kahit kanyari classical music yung pinaplay mo, but your metronome is doing a lot of other cool things. Parang na enjoy my practice. And then this one is like, this is a pretty cool thing that I got. Uh, this is a Roland vocal gadget. I use it when I'm a little bit lazy to vocalize um, on the piano. So this one has a lot of really good um, vocal warm-ups and vocalizations. Gaganahan ka mag practice or comment with this one. And uh, yeah, it's fun. So, and then from here, we're gonna go to my computer. Um, this is just a simple computer that I have that I use for um, recording and doing any normal thing that you're supposed to do on a computer, like type or to maybe listen to music or watch films. Tapos, nandito rin yung um, interface ko. And then, um, of course, my um, accents, my guitar is here because I just used it to record something recently. And also, um, my favorite guitar because this is my first guitar and I got it when I was in high school. My first electric guitar. So that's a good on radiator. And then I have a stag bass there. I use it to record demos. Oh, and then this is the Innovation Circuit, which I got because I really wanted to learn how to um, make beats. And then I really like to surround myself with things that I really like. So, here is a computer table. Ko. I just put a lot of like trinkets and stuff that um, really interest me, things that I love. Like, for example, that's a DVD of Big Fish, one of my favorite films, one of my most favorite films. And then those are... Um, toy figurines of Star Wars. So that's um, Darth Vader battling Luke Skywalker with a lightsaber. Um, that's actually from a chess set that I bought before. Um, lahat sila mga Star Wars uh, pieces. And then like, that's a postcard of Spirited Away, one of my favorite films also. And also, that's a postcard of Princess Mononoke. Oh, and then that's a mug that my cousin gave me for my birthday. And then, of course, um, I need to have books by my side. But I haven't really brushed up on my reading, actually. So, nagiiba iba naman yung mga books dyan. Like, if I finished reading one, then it gets replaced by another one. But the categories uh, of the books, they're always the same. Like, this first one is a music-related book. This is Music and Sentiment by Charles Rosen. And then the second one is fiction. It could be a novel or it could be a collection of short stories such as this one. This is Voyager and Other Fictions by Jose de Lisay. And then there has to be like a collection of essays also like this one. Tapos syempre poetry. This is from my favorite Filipino poet, Joel Toledo. This is a collection of his poems. And then isang autobiography. That one's of Steven Tyler lead vocalist of Aerosmith. Tapos, ito naman yung control room. And then, sitting there um, is my lightsaber. That one is a red lightsaber. So, it's from the dark side. Careful you must be for the dark side looks back. Oh, and then there inside, you can get a sneak peek of the merch that I'm that I'm yet to launch. So, sana abangan nyo yun. And next, let's look at the posters that I have on my walls because um, those are also some of my most favorite things here in the studio. So as you can see right there, uh, we have the Beatles, Let It Be, 
Like, when you find yourselves in times of trouble, let it be. Aerosmith, one of my most favorite bands. And then Shemper at the Doors. Um, I really love Jim Morrison's insights. I used to read his poetry and also his diary. Parang naging available siya at one point, And you can read it. And then, of course, Metallica. Kasi sino ba naman ang hindi na elib sa Metallica, diba? I mean, nothing else matters. You know, this space was supposed to be for Mr. Big, one of my favorite bands. But then, um, marami pa tong posters actually, pero nasama sila sa um, baha. One time, it rained really hard, and then nagbaha dito sa studio. Nadama yun. And yung ibang posters ko. And then we have Guns N' Roses with Metallica, Judas Priest, Ozzy Osbourne, and Megadeth. I mean, imagine being in that concert. And then, Shemper Woodstock. And the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Grand Opening Concert, which features so many awesome artists. And then, Shempre Michael Jackson, the king of pop, has to be there. And then, um, that's just me. And um, some of my... All is vanity. And I also included some memorable posters of mine. Like, this one was from my... Um, album launch for my first album and then this one was for my solo recital that one's from my music video launch which was a really um, fun gig that we had okay ano pa ba ah of course my acoustic guitar where most of like the rawest of the raw ideas happen either jan or then sa keyboard uh yeah and this is the takamine and uh next to it is kind of like a gig bag like if i visit friends and i like to make music then I bring that bag kasi ne, dito na, nakakasya yung ano tong cube amp ko na maliit. Yun. Basically that's that's all there is to to my studio and uh, I really love hanging out here and having friends over just jamming. So this is like the underground of our place. I moved down here because I think subconsciously I was really affected by the pandemic and all the misfortune that's been happening to everyone and in a way parang siguro I just wanted to isolate myself and make music here kind of like an escape or a defense of sorts parang, parang ganun siguro but I'm really glad that music um, is here for me during this really tough time so thanks music you're my best friend when we go through this door, you'll see <laughs> the first thing you'll see is a Lysol. You'll see that I set up like a small room there. Kaya, this is already where I'm staying actually. So thank you all for joining me tonight and I really hope you enjoyed touring my studio. So this studio was built by Mr. Ruel Sebastian. 2010, I think. 2010. And um... He did the soundproofing. The walls here are um, parang double wall. So there's a space in between. There's a hollow part in the middle. And uh, he did the full carpet on on this place. So you can contact him. He still does soundproofing. Kahakita ko lang sa Facebook niya. Ruel Sebastian. Jam tayo dito minsan. Bye!